That story of a father, a disabled son, and the decision to send the son into school wearing a wire. What the father heard on tape ignited a firestorm, and tonight a national teachers organization is taking a surprising stand on all this. And here's ABC's Dan Harris to tell us. When Stuart Chaffetz heard that his 10-year-old autistic son, Akian, was becoming violent while in class at this school in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, he says he couldn't believe it. I didn't understand it because he is such a gentle person and it was only happening in school. He says he couldn't get answers from the school, so he put this recording device in his son's pocket and let it roll in class for six hours. And here is what he heard. The teachers berating Akian for talking to himself. And when Akian cries, and then after more crying, this comment. When I heard what they had done to him, um, my life just shattered. This is just the latest case. In Alabama, a mom, after getting a tip from a classmate, attached a recorder to the wheelchair of her 10-year-old with cerebral palsy. She heard him being scolded for drooling. I do not want to touch your drool. Do you understand that? But tonight, the question, even in defense of a child who cannot speak for himself, is this an ethical tactic? In a majority of states, it's perfectly legal. But while there's no defense for the way Akian Chaffetz was treated, how many of us would want to be secretly recorded on one of our bad days? I'm so glad that this guy was able to finally protect his child. But at the same time, I would worry about living in a world where we're all subject to being taped and having that spread. You know, this is interesting. Today we spoke to the head of the National Association of Special Ed Teachers, and he said, well, he does not think parents should be wiring up their children left and right. Given the recent evidence of abuse, perhaps he says there is a need for cameras in some of those classrooms. So the head of the association indeed, indeed. said that, and we've been talking all day about how the great special needs teachers are our heroes. Want to emphasize that? Absolutely. They're doing valiant work. Okay. Thank you, Dan.